Hello, everyone, and welcome to Divine Conversations. Thank you so much for tuning in. So we have our next installment of connecting with your inner feminine here in this video. Um, thank you so much for tuning in. So please keep in mind that this is a general reading, yes? So please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. If you'd like a look into your own personal situation when it comes to your inner feminine, please go ahead and email me. I would be more than happy to do this reading for you. My email is in the description box below. So this reading is intended to get some information on how you can connect further with your inner feminine energies, okay? This is a topic that is born of the divine partnership and or twin flame situation. If you are on a twin flame journey, you may be able to get some information as to what may be going on with your external counterpart um, in the physical external world. However, the real intention here is to get a look at what's going on within you so that you can help build a better relationship with your inner feminine energies. It's the same goes for your inner masculine. But here in this reading, we're looking at the feminine, okay? Um, yeah, I think that's, that's basically it. Uh, oh, also, um, I did just set up a playlist for these readings so you will now be able to find in on my channel in the playlist section uh, a playlist for the inner feminine readings and a playlist for the inner masculine readings yes that's just purely for organizational purposes now if you are new to this reading and you're new to my channel welcome very nice to meet you thank you so much for tuning in but also if you're new to this reading i'll explain i have a few questions that i'm going to look into and i'm going to use a certain deck uh, a specific uh, well not a specific but a different deck excuse me a different tarot deck for each question we have four questions here so i have four tarot decks lined up and then i'm going to get some oracle guidance for for you guys for the end of the reading at the end of the reading from the Love Your Inner Goddess deck by Alana Fairchild. Yes? Okay. So with all that said, let's get started. All right? Here we go. Hi, spirit. Please make me a clear channel for the feminine collective at this time. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved. Please help us with a clear and accurate energetic understanding of where we are collectively in terms of our inner feminine. Please help guide us to, through connecting further with our inner feminine energies. Thank you so much, Spirit. Okay, one last thing also I want to say before we get started. Just because this topic is born of the divine partnership or twin flame journey or twin flame situation, it does not mean that you have to be on that journey, on that path, or connecting with someone that you consider to be a divine partner or a twin flame to benefit from these types of readings, okay? These readings are really meant for everybody, okay? We all have masculine and feminine energies within us. Also, keep in mind that as I'm speaking about the feminine energies here, I'm not talking about gender because, again, we're looking at for this, both this reading and the masculine reading, we're, we're looking at the energies within us and we all have a combination of masculine and feminine energies, okay? We're not talking about gender here, all right? Obviously, there are some individuals that fall heavier on the spectrum, like someone may be more masculine dominant, someone may be more feminine dominant, like me personally. I'm a man physically. However, I am I resonate way more as feminine with feminine energy than I do with masculine energy. So I consider myself to be a feminine dominant individual. Okay? And it can go the other way if you could be a woman and still resonate as masculine dominant, all right? So just keep that in mind. Excuse me, I'm going to cough. <coughs> keep that in mind as we go forward. All right, so let's get to it. First deck I have here is the uh, Book of Shadows Tarot, and I don't have the box handy or I would show it to you guys, but this is the Book of Shadows Tarot, which is a two-part tarot deck, and I am using the So Below portion of, or of the combination of decks 
One is as above, one is so below. This one is tr uh, more along the lines of traditional tarot, yes? All right, so for your inner feminine here, the first thing I wanna look at is where is your inner feminine energetically? What's her current energetic state? Let me give this three more shuffles. What is the current energetic state of your inner feminine energies? That's two. And last shuffle here. The current energetic state of your inner feminine energies. Here we go. Let's see what we've got here. For your current, your inner feminine, what is the current energetic state? Where does she stand right now? Energetically, what is the current state? Oh, ooh, ooh, okay. We're gonna, oh, there's there's more. All right, we have three cards here. I already feel like I'm gonna, gonna, I'm gonna wanna pull more. We have the magician. We're starting off with the magician. Okay, wow. Okay, we're starting off with the magician. We have the seven of cups in reverse, the 10 of wands in reverse. I wanna see, okay, we have the start. Okay, I'm gonna start here, but then I do wanna pull a little bit more because I'm feeling and I'm hearing that we should pull a little bit more, but I wanna stop here for a second. Overall energy right now is the nine of cups. So right now, your inner feminine is looking to manifest what it is that she desires from a place of satisfaction and happiness. I really feel like the, the feminine energies right now are very much um, focused on just being happy. Uh, playfulness also. I just heard playfulness. Releasing any sort of burdens, okay? Releasing any sort of confusion. This might be confusion in terms, well, the heaviest thing, heavily I'm feeling here is that there has been a release of confusion in terms of what it is that she wants, all right? And the biggest, the, the biggest form of that is focusing on being happy, okay? It, it really feels like <clears throat> it really feels like the feminine has come to an understanding here of <clears throat> happiness being a primary goal and everything else ah yes a, excuse me spirit just said uh, corrected me and say a primary achievement right just 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 focusing on being happy is an achievement and achieving that happiness that satisfaction is is an achievement in and of itself but then there's an understanding i feel like the feminine is coming to where in terms of as long as you're staying in this happy place and the more you um you cultivate this sense of happiness and well-being the more examples or the more ways you'll come up with to find or further cultivate that happiness which ultimately will lead you towards understanding what it is that you want or getting what it is that you want that's beautiful there is a lot of energy of releasing burdens here in terms of uh work specifically the feminine may be really working on lightening the load for you may have a desire to lighten your 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 workload your responsibility your load of responsibilities all that stuff because a lot of it seems to be superfluous that's also what i'm getting with the seven of cups the the release of burdens is the ten of wands but also the seven of cups the, The Seven of Cups is symbolizing just a bunch of meaningless stuff that's really not even necessary, especially with the Ten of Wands. And I just, and the reason I paused there was because I heard meaningful sacrifice. So it does kind of feel like there are things that are being pushed aside or cut away altogether in order to free up space for that which is truly desired to come through or to give you the space or the energy to to manifest that which it is that you truly want. So let's go ahead and get one more pull here. Current energetic state for your inner feminine. Current energetic state for your inner feminine. Oh, yes. All right. Yes. Okay, so we have justice here. We have the three of cups and we have, ah, the empress. Fully embodying her divine feminine energy. Okay, fully in her power. And you know what's crazy? It's not crazy. And then also, I'm sorry, at the bottom of the deck, we have the, the page of wands or the knave of wands. All right. 
So let's talk about this for a second because the funny, it's so simple and yet it feels like, it feels like a situation in which it took so long it took so much effort to get here but once you get here you're like oh my god this was just so simple why didn't i see it before but justice is being served here by embracing your your feminine nature by embracing your inner feminine energy by embracing by embracing that inner abundant abundance that that inner goddess within you because the feminine energies the feminine energies represent abundance fertility pregnancy a birth creation and it's through connecting with your inner empress okay your inner mother your inner nurturer your 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 wellspring of abundance. By doing that, you are bringing justice into your life because you are giving yourself the wherewithal or even the permission to release things, 1111 on the counter, to release things that no longer serve you, that are superfluous, that get in the way of what it is you truly desire. And it's through this energy of the Empress that you're able to access the abundance that says, wait a second, I don't need to work that nine to five job or I don't need to work 80 hours a week or I don't need to make so much money to have so many things that I really don't barely even use to begin with. And from there, the universe congratulates you. The universe cheers with you, three of cups. You reach a union between body, mind, and spirit. Your body is here, your mind is in check, and now that allows your spirit to flow through you more. That is a celebration. That is absolutely a celebration. Oh my God, I'm so embarrassed. My nails, anyway. <laughs> I'm sorry guys. I just realized, I mean, I just did my nails two nights, two days ago, and they're already chipping. Like, can we, can we just take a moment for that? I'm so sorry. <laughs> anyway, um, and finally with the knave or page of wands here at the bottom of the deck, this is definitely a mini well, because I do see, uh, I, I do see the Page of Wands as a minor arcana version of the Hermit, right? So I'm seeing a little bit of a mini Hermit mode here, or we'll call it a mini Hermit moment. But this is just there, there's such there's such a sense of relief within the feminine energies right now because of all of the superfluousness that is being cut away. We don't have the Queen of Swords, which is okay, actually. It's a little healthier, okay? Um, the Queen of Swords might speak to cutting things away. And it's not even like you're really cutting anything out. I don't really even feel like you have to make any surgical cuts or anything like that. It's more of an energy of just literally just dropping the burden, okay? And um, there's a sense of relief in that. There's a sense of discovering yourself once again, of being able to fully now explore that which it is you wanted to explore that you haven't allowed yourself to do in the, do so in the past because of maybe responsibilities, maybe an extreme um, an extreme focus on uh, what was the word uh, uh, practicality, all that kind of stuff. Okay, and this is your this is where this is where the feminine energies are resonating right now. So you have access to this type of energy. You have access to this type of justice. Okay. This is wonderful. This is really a great place to start. So next I want to look into the challenges that your inner feminine are currently facing. And for that we're gonna go to the uh, this is the wild unknown tarot. So what are the current challenges that your inner feminine energies are facing? This keeps falling. I got to figure out a better way to put that. Okay. All right. So we're going to give this three more shuffles here. What are the current challenges that your inner, <laughs> that your inner feminine energies are facing? All right. Two more shuffles. Current challenges that your inner feminine energies are facing. 
All right, guys, here we go. Let's see. Let's see what we've got here. So what are the challenges that your inner feminine energies are facing right now? What are the challenges that your inner feminine energies are facing right now? Feminine collective. That's enough right there. Okay. That's a good thing. Oh, <laughs> okay. Overall energy. Well, here's the queen of swords. <laughs> Speak of the devil. Okay. All right. So, okay, that, that right there, there you go. You have, currently, you're challenged, the, the, your inner feminine energies are challenged with what? Cutting out the superfluous bullshit. Point blank period. I mean, there it is right there. All right, you have the Wheel of Fortune, Five of Pentacles, Ten of Cups, Temperance, Nine of Wands, Eight of Swords, and of the Tower. Mm -mm -mm. Ain't that some juicy shit, y'all? All right. So check it. First of all, you have two tens, which does symbolize completion. You have the ten of you have the ten in the wheel of fortune, which in which this is symbolizing the change. All right, this is symbolizing uh, karmic change. It's symbolizing the wheel turning. I'm feeling that it's symbolizing you moving to the next cycle. Okay, um, moving along in your wheel. It's like it's like um, uh, if this wheel had pieces like a pie cut out of it right like it had it was cut into i don't know 12 equal pieces we'll call it like symbolize a clock okay and you've got the 12 equal spaces you're moving to the next space on your wheel if that makes sense to you that's kind of that's the image that i'm getting from this is the wheel of fortune in my opinion or what i'm seeing right now for the inner feminine energies it's symbolizing progress definitely symbolizing progress now um you do have the five of pentacles here which is interesting okay give me a second because i want to I, i'm reorganizing the way the cards are 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 set out here because i'm feeling the flow of the energy so yes this is what you're turning this is what you're changing okay this is what you're moving out of Feelings of inadequacy, feelings of law, uh, of being less than, um, uh, not good enough, um, feeling left out in the cold, rejection, uh, uh, poverty even. This may have to do, for some of you, this may have to do with issues surrounding your finances or money. Um, and it's in connecting with this inner goddess or this inner empress energy that is allowing you to understand just how abundant you are, which is helping pull you out of this five of pentacles energy with this eight of swords also pull you out of this mental entrapment. Okay, this is an ongoing process. Okay, you do have the nine of wands. So you are having to you're having to um, um, persevere. You're also being asked to persevere, okay? Because it's gonna get better. Here you go. We're, we're moving towards our 10 of cups here. All right, that is the long, arduous journey that we are on, but ultimately, that's part of it. That's part of why we're here. That's part of who we are. That's part of why we are on this path, that why we're in these physical bodies. We are here to manifest that which we desire, okay? We're here to manifest our ultimate fulfillment, whatnot, whatever, emotionally, physically, whatnot, whatever. Find that family, have that love, that, those relationships, blah, blah, blah. And that's what we're working on getting, okay? Your, your inner feminine energies are very serious with this queen of swords or mother of swords energy. She's very serious about cutting away everything that does not serve her, cutting away everything that does not help her reach her ultimate goal in this 10 of cups. You have the tower with temperance. And this feels like Temperance is influencing the tower, all right? But temperance, temperance is in, influencing the tower moment, but it's the, the feminine or the individual energies, him or herself, whatever. It's the feminine energies herself that are creating the tower moments. That's what I'm feeling here. But it's, it's a weird chain of command because it starts with temperance, right? Temperance is an energy of balance, of harmony, of union. Um, it, it's bringing two opposing sides together. Uh, in theory, it's bringing two opposing sides together to create a new compound. It's, it's, the temperance card is symbolic of alchemy, 
Yes. So it's this balance. It's this di It's this. It's this desire to achieve balance. Okay. This energy of achieving balance that is influencing the feminine energies into this Queen of Swords energy that is then influencing or creating the Tower moment. Does that make sense? This does not feel like it's the universe coming in and doing this for you. This feels like the feminine energy is doing this for herself. Clearing the way for the Ten of Cups energy, whatever that, represent, whatever that symbolizes for her or for you. Um, clearing the way for those energies to be manifest. All right? That's beautiful. And I'm going to be honest with you guys. This doesn't, even though this is technically what the inner feminine is challenged with, is facing in, in, form, or in terms of a challenge, I, it doesn't feel all that hard. It doesn't feel all that challenging because this is something that the feminine energies have really been working towards for a very long time. And that work is now really starting to pay off here. Okay? That's beautiful, you guys. That is so beautiful. All right, so now I want to see what the inner feminine actually would want wants to physically say all right what does your inner feminine have to say what does your inner feminine want you to know if you could sit in front of your inner feminine energies right now or sit with your inner inner, inner feminine energies right now what would she say to you now keep in mind you absolutely can sit down get into a meditative state and communicate with your inner feminine energies but through this reading, let's see what collectively the inner feminine has to say. And this, um, for this, I'm using the Golden Universal Tarot deck. All right, so five shuffles. What does your inner feminine energy want to say? Want you to know? This is number three. What does your inner feminine want you to know? Four. What does your inner feminine want? to say? What does your inner feminine have to say? And five. All right, let's see. What does your inner feminine have to say? Well, she doesn't want you to give up. That's for damn sure. Six of cups, nine of wands. All right, there's something that has flipped over here. Strength, yeah, perseverance really is key. And there's a specific message here. Um, your inner feminine doesn't want you to give up on some sort of counterpart situation. Six of cups, nine of wands, all right? Strength. We also have the queen of wands. Beautiful, overall energy is the moon. All right, so this is a symbol of feminine energy to begin with, all right, with the moon. Um, I'm hearing perseverance is key, all right? There are a lot of things. We do, actually, we have a new moon on the 28th, which I believe is tomorrow or Sunday. Today is the 20th. Wait a second. No, today is the 28th. That's right. Today is Saturday the 28th. Let me just... Yeah, it sure is. Okay, so it's the 28th. So, okay, we do have a new moon here um, that this could be speaking of. But the message that I'm hearing is do not give up on your counterpart situation. Just don't do it. Okay, things are not very clear right now. Perseverance is key. You have got to believe in yourself. You also need to believe in your intuition. Period. Because you really, you know who you are and you know what you have to offer the world. You know what you stand for. Perseverance is key. Do not give up. For some of you, this is, this is the, whatever, if you are, if you are aligning or you are desiring to align with a, a, a twin flame or a divine counterpart, whatever you want to call it. For many of you, for most of us, is what she's saying. For most of us, this partnership is much closer than you think. Like, it's literally right around the corner. You just can't see that yet with the moon. And you know what? Quite, quite frankly, you're probably not even supposed to see it. We don't have faith here, which, is, which would be represented by the star. And yet, I still feel that energy. Needing to have faith.
Um, yes, I was just looking. I was like, wait a second. Where is the... We had the Nine of Wands before. Yep, we had it in the challenge here. Okay. That was short and sweet, but uh, important. Okay. Cool. So now, last thing I want to look at from the Tarot is what... Um, what action steps can be taken at this moment to further connect with your inner feminine energies? Um, and for that, I'm using the uh, Tarot of Dreams by Ciro Marchetti. All right, so what action steps can be taken to connect with your inner feminine energies to further connect with your inner feminine energies. So shuffle number three. What action steps can you take to connect with your inner feminine energies? Four. And five. You know, the message that has come through in terms of what your inner feminine wants to say uh, are very much in alignment with what the current energies she's under or influenced by are. Um, with her stepping into this empress power, stepping into her truth, her understanding, her her wisdom, her her uh, um, uh, wellspring of abundance and all that stuff, that's definitely symbolized here by the Queen of Wands too. I mean, the Empress is the queen of all queens, but being confident in your abundance here, in your ability to manifest, in your ability to draw towards you what it is that you need is imperative and is exactly where, is that is exactly the energy that your inner feminine is standing in already, okay? All you would need to do is really just connect with her in order to tap into that, that's all. Stand strong, stand firm, stand tall in who you are and what you know you have to offer this world, what you know you have to offer this connection. And don't back down. Don't let anybody uh, take you off your path. Okay, so now, what action steps? Holy moly. Well, the sun just came flying out. All right, cool. What action steps can you take to further connect with your inner feminine? The Knight of Swords with the Two of Coins. Communication. We're going to get a little bit more here. Oh, well, there's the star. There, there she is. Uh, yeah, I, you know what? I was going to get a little bit more, but I actually think I'm going to stop right there. The action steps that you can take. You have the sun... Oh, look, there's the six of wands underneath the queen of swords here with this, uh, the challenge. Okay, um, I'm going to take that down. I'm going to leave it right here because when the sun came out and flew out, it shifted this deck over a little bit and I could see now what's underneath the queen of swords in the challenge for your inner feminine. And right underneath the queen of swords is the six of wands and the sun revealed that. Okay, so first of all... Um, Wow. First of all, whatever you're challenged with in terms of your inner feminine energies, you are overcoming. And we could see that even in the current energies that your inner feminine is standing in. Um, but the action steps that you can take to connect with your inner feminine, you need to communicate. Start communicating. And you, this doesn't. This is not even saying you know communicate with uh, your feminine counterpart in the external. No, we're talking about you need to start communicating with yourself. You need to start getting in touch with your feelings. The Knight of Swords with the Two of Wands. In order for you two to ba for your inner masculine and inner feminine to balance out, you need to communicate. You need to be communicating with each other. All right. The Sun is symbolizing masculine energy here. And I do feel like this is a call for your inner mass to communicate with your inner, for your inner masculine to communicate with your inner feminine. Allow 
the communication to happen. For some of you, that's something you're pretty afraid of because things might have been pretty tumultuous or there are things that you're going to become start becoming aware of that you may that you have been trying to avoid you may feel like you're not ready to deal with it yet but that's not the case at some point you really just got to bite the bullet and start somewhere now also keep in mind look here we have the the moon which is underneath the deck of what it is your inner feminine wants to say wants you to know and here we have in action steps to take in order to connect with your inner, further connect with your inner feminine, we have the sun. Illumination, communication is key. So your inner feminine really may feel like she's in a little bit of the dark here in terms of like her connection with your inner masculine. What action steps can you take? Start communicating. Just with yourself. That's really all that's needed right now. Especially how if you have a counterpart outside in the, in the physical world that you're really not communicating with and you feel like you're not even ready to communicate with her or him, then the best thing to do is practice with yourself. Start to have these communications or start to have these conversations with yourself. And that will bring the, that will start the healing process. You, the star represents healing. Okay, so in order for you to start the healing process, you got to start it within. You, you got to start healing internally, and that will help you eventually communicate with your counterpart. If that is the situation, if that is a situation you're resonating with, if that's what you're watching this for, you would be able to communicate with your counterpart in the external because you would have had that experience of communicating with your counterpart internally. Does that make sense? Start the communication. Start having the conversation. Start hashing it out. Start coming to start start, you know. Just start. <laughs> Okay. All right. So now let's close out the reading here with some oracle guidance from your inner feminine or for your inner feminine, whichever. Take it as it resonates. All right. Last shuffle. So we have oracle guidance here. In terms of connecting with your inner feminine, oracle guidance for your inner feminine, oracle guidance from your inner feminine. Take it as it resonates. There it is. Okay, and we have card number 28. Medicine, wi medicine wisdom. See? Start, uh, there's that healing of energy. 28 boils down to a 10, so that is in fact a completion. Okay. So in a reading, this card says this. The Earth Mother, of Mother agrees to support your wants and needs to help you live your best life and fulfill your, fulfill your dreams. Her generosity and her power to assist you is beyond what you can imagine. She is already leading you towards your sacred life purpose, providing exactly what is needed for your soul to blossom, just as she creates what is needed for the flowers of the Earth to bloom. This is confirmation that you are on your sacred path. It may take some turns and twists, but you are headed in the right direction and you are being supported in all ways to gain all the experiences and blessings that are meant for you. Beautiful. So spiritual guidance here is, you are a wild woman. You have the spiritual gift of medicine wisdom, the healing way of the sacred feminine. This soul wisdom and healing ability comes from mother nature her seasons and weather, her landscapes and the particular life that they support, including her animals, plants and crystals, all have their own unique purpose and healing power. Learning to recognize the signs, to feel for their meaning, to listen for guidance and activate the medicine wisdom in yourself and your life is your training as is as a true medicine woman of the soul. Listening, intuiting, feeling, experiencing, trusting, these are the ways you begin to tap into and harness the grace, beauty, and power of the sacred feminine for healing purpose. 
When you live your life from a place of playful connection, reverence, and gratitude for the Divine Feminine, she will love and empower you to accomplish things that you could never do on your own. She is an infinitely practical divine being able to help you with every aspect of your life on earth and through you to help others too. She is asking you to trust her, to let go of logic and believing or, I'm sorry, to let go of logic or believing that you have to accomplish all on your own. Let yourself be in creative partnership with the Divine Feminine, the, with Mother Nature. And as your earthly cares are provided for with ease and grace, you can dedicate your energy and focus to discovering and expressing your talents, which is how you fulfill your life purpose. Okay, we're going to stop there. There you have it, guys. So I hope that was helpful for you. Thank you so much for tuning in. Again, if you would like a look into this, into your own inner feminine energies, please go hesitate. Don't hesitate to email me. All the all, all, my email is in the description box below. I don't have this listed yet in there, but if you know if it becomes more of a popular reading, I will list it eventually. But if you are interested in it, this reading is available. Okay. With that said, I hope you guys have a great day. And I look forward to connecting with you again very soon. Yeah? Take care. Mwah. Bye.